21st century church setting, there is this belief that the anointing in a church, for example, as we are here in full council of God, there is a wrong perception that the anointing that does things in the church is in one man. Okay? That is wrong. There are things that we have believed as Christians or as people who follow Christ, and yet they are not true. Whatever we do, we do Atumnangi <laughs> The New Living Translation says, Among the prophets and teachers of the church at Antioch of Syria were Barnabas, Simeon, Lucius from Seven, among others, and Saul. Amen. Mm. Nti, muba tume, wamuba nabinava somesa, abali mu kanisa ya Antiochi. Mwali mu Barnabas, Simeon, Lucia, nabala na nane saulo wotade. Chiche chitegeza wano. The Bible is saying, among the prophets and the teachers. What does that mean? It means there was a very big group of prophets and teachers. But among that big group, we only talk about Saul, we talk about Barnabas, Simeon, and Lucius, for example, because the writer of the scriptures wanted to show us what happened at that point in time. Speed, speed. Um, Antiochia. Um, Antiochia. Yalibo. Yalibo. Nabi, Naba Why Why Nabi, Naba Why 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 there's <laughs> Among the prophets, into Muva Nabi. Among the teachers, into Muva Nabi, you want to have a submissor. Mano and Avaton of Kurnako. I'm trying to show you that the concept that the anointing is embodied in one man who has been given the title man of God is not true. It is not consistent with the scriptures. And that's the point I'm never going to establish. Praise the Lord. Amen. So this disagrees with the modern day concept that the man of God must be there in order for God to work for you. Amen. The Holy Spirit spoke in the hearing of them all, so all of me, in the verse 2, the Bible declares, and the Holy Spirit spoke. Read the Luganda and Idea. Acts chapter 13, verses 2. No kusaba. 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 Amen. No kusaba. No kusaba. No kusaba. No kusaba. No kusaba. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, What that means is that the Holy Spirit spoke in the opening of everybody's hearing. Amen. 
Nti mukanise ya soka o miaka ikumi bidi malenga. Omo ya mtu kwenye kila anga muruadi. Ne wa kuwa tewe na bima ni wao abana kula anga. Ne wa kuwa misera. Omo ya mtu kubya mukanga protokoli abana bina kama katibu yuma ya kumbuli. Praise the Lord. Amen. There was a setting in the other church that the Holy Spirit would speak to the hearing of everybody. It was not only through a prophet. It is true there were prophets who would prophesy because we have evidence in the scripture to that effect. But there is also evidence that the Holy Spirit used to speak to the hearing of many. Therefore, this breaks the belief system that we have in our time that you know God only speaks through that one man of God who we all have to run to and probably keep their pictures in our wallet in order to hear heaven speak to us. Amen. 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 We are in very sensitive times. Now, this is where the spirit of cultism, this is where the spirit of idolatry comes from. Why? Because we have come up with a new setting in the ministry which is not consistent with the scriptures. That spirit of idolatry and cultism has come because we have not read the scriptures. Amen? Amen. 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 I want to establish that point again in another scripture. Praise the Lord. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 26. The culture of the Holy Spirit speaking in the hearing of everybody was not only exclusive to the Antioch church. But even the Corinthian church, we see the same setting. Amen. Therefore, the Bible declares in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 26. When you come together, each one, the Bible says, each one has a song. Each one has a lesson. Each one has a revelation. Each one has a tongue. Each one has an interpretation. Let all things be done for edification. Amen? Uh -huh. I know 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 I and it should be true in full counsel of God ministry. It should also be true in your ministry, man of God, woman of God listening to me. The concept of looking at one man as an embodiment of the Spirit of God does not work. It's not true in the New Testament dispensation. Praise the Lord. So the above, when I look at it, for me, it proves to me that it is wrong for us to put all the attention in one man. Hmm? Holy Ghost outpouring kilogram in liters fire international fire ministry. <laughs> Did God really inspire this ministry then? When I got solution ground, prophetic anointing ministry international. What do I have to say? Kachicheka <laughs> 
The concept of idolizing a man of God to a point of having their pictures everywhere you are at home, on your bed post, in your wallet, at the first page of your Bible, even before you read the Bible, the man of God's picture is coming out. Brother, it is not consistent with the scriptures. If you want to survive deception, especially in the last days that we are living in, my brother, you need to go back and search the scriptures. Amen? Amen. Now, why do I say search the scriptures? Watch it in the Kamchi Gambo. Nanga Kenina Apostle Maker, so Miss Awan. Where you were at Nora Banga of two Sichawa Katunda. Over to take it day. Only what they were put there, put there, Yogam and Yagan. You search the scriptures. No, no, you are one. Only of the Oxford, the Yoga name to me was so Miss Natural Nay. They went over by you, so you are a Yoga Wilt. They just turned out so maybe. That is why whenever somebody is preaching here at Full Castle of God, even if you are only two months in salvation, I'll pick my pen and paper and take notes. Amina, but you want to suffer. 
Kwanga wana kukwane ya vada sizo yimba Nye kuna maiga mkama anga kati kwa kwa wani Wale ujimba wale vada ujimba Nye nimba sato za asebe yoku yimba I felt the power of God come down Nye nga manifati wana wana wawu Bagenze wawea Musiyo mwale Mkama yiba zi Kati tewala koka Kutikuwe mabelega wa kusabila mwale mwaka Obelega wa kubela na vi Na kuya kusete Na kugeta ageta Na kuyia iya Na kuchuse no nere Na wala koko kule Tewali na beyari ato nyo kufa mungu. Tali. There is no man of God, woman of God, who drops straight from heaven. We all learn. Matthew chapter 22, verse 29. At this point in time, Jesus was facing rejection and persecution from the Pharisees. And the religious leaders. They were asking him very complicated, discomfiting questions. They were tricking him and telling him, by the way, is it true for us to pay tax? He survived them through the school. Is it true for a man who has married a wife and when the man dies, the brother of that man takes over the wife? They were tricking him with those scriptures. Because they were trying to use human wisdom based on the Mosaic law to try and trap Jesus looking for, for something to blame him for. But what Jama and Mamusa Yesu, Abanadini woman in the way, the Mamu Tero Neva, they have Musa Gabachi, they have Mamu Gabotia. Musa ya gamba, nchi omukazi wa wa kumbitua, bada hafa, brother wa omusaja asolo mtu wala. Neka deba mbuza, nchi katiku, uwe wafabu na musamu, anya libela bawe, katiku debo na mwezi. Kwa wakeza hako mloka, umukwasa. Na wade mchi. Tina yesu, madamu na gamba. Aha. Mucha mwa utamanya elia wani. Mucha mwa uwa utamanya elia wani. Kwa wakwa te amanyika. Ne wakwa wakwa te amanyika kutuenda. You error. Jesus answered them. Your problem is that you do not know the scriptures and you do not know the power of God. So, knowing the scriptures brings us into contact with the power of God, but it also brings us strength into salvation. Katonda wa Ibrahim, katonda wa Isaka, na ya kukuleze masoko, mulina ya mkama wa Yesu. Chawa ni kiwa mkama. Nchi mulichena simula, na kumusinda ni munguru, bati simula. Katonda wa ni chawa ni kiwa mchigambo cho. Nchi mpanda wa mani na obu yinza. Katiku wakena mkusaba wekuti. Eche kena nchi yeguwe wole tande kwa attention. Kwa wange hukile ya chukila. Amen. Nene na mbeo kama antipa kama zi. Saka mbeo kama mbeo kama mbeo kama yesu. O wana bigundi. Nene kama mbeo kama mbeo kama mbeo kama mbeo. Eguru. Diliko egona ya ato. Eguru. Diliko enfuga ya ato. Katuwa na mbeo kama mbeo kama mbeo kama mbeo. Katuwa na mbeo kama mbeo kama mbeo kama mbeo. Oizo kwa mbeo kama mbeo kama mbeo kama mbeo kama mbeo. Noge na mkasonda na ukawa. Nye mwenye suma baibuli, teka ama tumukama na olida angama zikaza. Walori angama, mwenye mkama zikaza. Nise na kwa chiku kama, na kwa wani mwafu. Na kwa wani mwafu, na kwa wani mwafu, na kwa wani mwafu. Sasa wani mwafu, kati ze mkama na mwafu, na mwafu mwafugazi. Mkama zikwa ziti, na mwafu mwafu mwafu. Uwe wawu kani, wani mwafu, mwafu wani kama. Na ye mkuru, teli uli na suma zika. Heaven does not listen to the wails and cries of humanity. Heaven listens to a prayer that is made according to the justice system of heaven. Amen? Amen. That's why I tell people, for somebody to pronounce a curse on you as a Christian and express expression in you, it means there is something you have not done in terms of alignment. But an aligned man or, or woman of God or child of God, son or daughter, an aligned believer of Christ cannot be cursed. But most of us are disaligned and then we still believe we can't be cast. Listen carefully. Please have a good one. Oh, my God. I'm going to be a singer. 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 So, if you have any problem, I'll be speaking about that topic later on. 
2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. We see an example of Paul training Timothy to be strong in the scriptures. Why? Because he knew what Jesus meant in the previous scripture we have read. Your problem is that you do not know the scriptures and you don't know the power of God. But 2 Timothy 3.15, the Bible is saying, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you ways unto salvation through the faith which is in Jesus Christ. And so, come on, 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 Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 15. Elango kuva mubuto. Elango kuva mubuto. Wamanyange byawa nikiwa. Ebitukufu. Eliza okugeziwaza okuyingira mu buloko. Olokufiza okuli mu Kristo. Eliza okugeziwaza. Kati mwako lejaka no fuke mugezi. For from a child thou has known, not only read, but known. And that's the same thing Jesus is speaking in Matthew 22, verse 29. Your problem is that you don't know the scriptures. The Pharisees were quoting the scriptures. Indeed, they were talking about the Mosaic law. Probably they were talking about the books of Leviticus and Deuteronomy, trying to quote what Moses taught. But Jesus is telling them, in as much as you have read the scriptures of Moses, you don't know the scriptures. You also don't know the power of God. When I say much to move, it's one thing to read the scriptures, it's another to know the scriptures. But Jesus is calling us unto a level of knowing the scriptures. The first time I prayed for a sick person, I think I've told you this testimony when I was a young man in salvation. For me, what inspired me was just Mark chapter 16. I read. These signs will follow them who believe. Ah, do I believe? Yes. They will lay hands on the sick and see them recover. They will cast out devils. They will speak in other tongues and say, ay, 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 how come I don't see any of these things in me? I had to go to hospital to try it out. Teaching is a book gum. A child who comes and says, Okay, no, that book is a big one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going to Kati wana soma ujini noro, nilu wata kwenye ningama, haa. Ah. Ishtikiza nangi, soma na kuteke mkono kumutu na awona. I am now challenging you. I am challenging you with this thing to me. Each time you hear somebody is sick, even if you have money, take them to hospital. But before you take them to hospital, you check, let us pray. And then you go to hospital. I had a neighbor who passed on about eight months ago where I was staying, maybe a year ago. They came to my home and said, man, we, I was the only one who had a small car in that neighborhood. So they wanted help. They thought the woman was just sick. So when I looked at this woman, I knew she was dead. Imagine a caller. Never gamba so came with him with a him no mukazi wono. Mufulume mu. Why won't we da hope? Neko wole guru, neko wole hope, neko wole hope, koma wole mubili, hope, koma wole mubili. I prayed my most holy faith. Nothing happened. When we were taking this woman out, one of the was a weapon. Then I never got I got a menu with him, and then I come to the chip of the Mukamaka doctor. Well, I think that's actually like I'm making out to you that standing up. I'm not going to try anything in money. Ada, you are a woman. What is the hospital to our own cousins? Why would Dr. Nadia or Mr. Nadia who come and have Nanga, 
Omuntu kubera kuno kwa tena aba musiru mu bulokole. Mwechi mm. mwechi mwestegeza. Kata wali tusiru wade mu bulokole. Mkama aleto mkisa. Kachika kwenye chokula bila ko. Obado sabiru mwami ya gaya kumi. Nyake kumi wali mkisama. Amina nyo. Amen. Kati boys imulezi. Na kula mazee, mbade mpuli ya kisoro chitambuza. Ida mpuli ya nage, mkama tenengene nage, shia na ye mpuli ya... Oma isi sabakula. Zee, kazi leo mbuze mkama. Kati meake kumi jona wali osa bachi. Kati poi na ye na ala unaka mwai. Kana kajanga sikaribu, omela nani wabu. Kana wocha alia wena kula mbali mbali mkuma akadari mwani. Kusamba akadari. Ndato ya limu kazi wagi. Ya limu wagi wagi. Nyingi loksi wado kusama. Mkua wola yo. Musikai. Nekda. Bela mkezi mbuloko. Be wise and to salvation. Nestani ya sobolo kuleta Emi yake kumi wadu sabachi Oba mna 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 yake kumi wadu sabachi Ni musajja musajito ufu na mubi Ni musajja akiza mbiyama gero Ni musajja akiza mkulama na ukulukuli Nedo wazi ya mkama Na yate Echi iti wa ama gezi mbulo kule Nepa wala achogera po Ngatea ina ama futa manja gaiti nipi. Kagwe chokula vila kichila. Sanga msaja wa mkama. Mkama ya mkama ngeenda kutamu zama wanga guna. Saja aguli nejiri. Taina kumukutu guna. Amina nyo. Sako ze mkwano na basu mbaba lala. Kakati kwa yungana kuunte geza mkama kwa yungana. Alifu tuwana just slave na hapifu. Zuuu. Amerika. Zuuu. Bungereza. Zuuu. Nama ya tuwa leli eri ya mnani Nedda Process One more process, thank you very much Mlijo mba gambe chika mo process wati Obono kwa zimuli kwa process Elan jukana mwa pecha kwa chukla kwa kwa ni muse kemze Saro kwa kare leo ya techa ni mwa mkwa saka zi dalo ni aposo maiko Nedda mkwa ati One more process jena ita mwa So God is the God of processes That's why he even never created the universe in one day he created and kept creating until he completed the creation story. That is evidence that we deal with the God of process. Amen? Amen. So if he wants to use you as a woman of God, or as a man of God, or as a businessman, or as somebody who is influential in our age, there are some processes you need to accept to go through. Now the challenge is, we have rejected all these processes, processes because we have been convinced it must only happen automatically. God is not a magician. <laughs> It is the devil who wants to show, I can do it, but the miracle, but without even the purpose. But the miracles that God performs are on purpose and intended to extend his kingdom. Amen. Katika hapunile kanoko, kanyo kategere mruji. O hizo kwa wajula mafuta gebi ama vyo. Hmm? Wajula mafuta gebi ama vyo. Hata ni ugeena mchivina ni watawa wa una vyo. Yes. Anya tegele chengami. Hmm. Oito kwa mba mkama ya kuita kwe mnani kwa sabi lava ntu wajulo mwe mduku Ata doge na usabi lava ntu mkume ya utawawa wako kuna Uwamani wachi Kwa nga mkama ye okwena kisa kuitila mkwe Chisi hizi na kuprogramu ye kukusi yyo Yes Na yyo msabi ze ye Stani ya kama hapa programu kwe njuku wa tekula mwola wa To prophesy is the doing of heaven To perform a miracle is the doing of heaven However you must be aligned with heaven and its program for it to manifest. Amen. Kato ndo kwenye mwundu kukurusedi, awaya chikula nito chikula, siye gwe. Amen. For God to speak to somebody by the prophet, it is heaven that determines, not you. That's why I have a problem with somebody who says, can I prophesy? Ata whose prerogative are you prophesying? A true prophet can be teaching and suddenly the prophetic comes. Without his intention. Ani ati kena chingamu. Mwani nyoke ndo uluzungu miti miti. Amina. Nabi omu tu. Ababu nage. Ani kwa nasome sapa ibulie. Wali mkuwa mo. Echa wa wandi kwa. Ani mkufuli leji. Hakeno kula. Hakeno kula kata maso gomo yu wako zechi. Gambusi. Gambusi. Nata ali kilawa. Neta kwa kanga aplani zezo kwenge. Nahe maja kunda bali yu. Japana kula ba chengi hili. Hehehe. Muche echa na msaja wano kama jali. Aja kukule yu nevi kuwatako. Katiza yu sibi yaka. Nagenda kuwa te. Walo kujamuli nejiji. Zijina angi saachi te diye. 
Mukama na agula wa maso ganga gumo yu Sebra na musio mwe kriya leka Ila na chani ngawa mbame chiche uwe chivira wa mwe Soko jike Saka ya kunsu la kutaka kumye gira Mge Na lawa na mbame wala mbame musio mbili wote Nga lawa wa mbame mbame Katina waba wa wendo uza Ati msanjo nengiri jala ule nyo tumutuale wa Mkonferensi ni nga mbundi leka Amen. Amen. Atuwe tu kama la dazi kula maso gumo ya kana ndani kipu yiona ni. Yes. Gundi vako. Amen. Ni dalgo kudojiga. Kama ni watch because the power of God is only displayed in accordance with the program of heaven. Not in accordance with the program of this man called the man of God who is believed to be an embodiment of the anointing. The power of God manifests because heaven ordained it to manifest that way in a given point in time. Amen. Amen. Katilo chitule tende okusinza abantu. Obuna bete buli mu ageza ko buteka ko ngaba mumanyi nti obuna. Echama gero te chibadde ona akakasani ayalala chika kanzi we chi kubanga bamanyi nti nange kukuruse eri ya saba abalema basatu ne batambula katilo wecho chino kubawo katilo chibadde chibadde wo kakati ja tawerezeza bulungi. So these are the things I want you to understand. Amen. Now, being wise unto salvation. Of course, we are going to look for it. She should not cook it up. Oh, come on, we'll limba. We're going to go and go and limba. Go and ji. Come on, the times we are in. Oh, we're going to limba the power of God. God, God, God. She must have a job with this. We're going to start. But that will be your soul. But that's why we're going to come in time. But read the the first verse. Second Timothy chapter three, verses one. The times of deception that we live in today, even Apostle Paul prophesied, for he knew they would come. That's why he says, you should know this Timothy. Paul is speaking and protecting his son. That in the last days there will be very difficult times. For people who love only themselves and their money, verse 5, they will act as if they are religious, but they will reject the power that could make them good. They are the kind, verse 6, who work their way into people's homes and will convince the vulnerable women. Number 7, verse 7. Such women are forever following new teachings, but they never understand the truth. This point is very important. Na yote gera chino. Muna kwe zolo banyuma. Elo elio kulaba ina kumilija. Elo elio kulaba ina kumilija. Elo ina kumilija. Ocha kuda mosi. Ngaba ina chifana ji? Echo kwa gara katunda. Na yenga tewe tegete amani ge. Having a form of godliness that denies the power. Chicha kiza boga. This power is not prophecy. It's not the miracles. The power that is being talked about in the past five is the power that makes people change lifestyles into godliness. So if we claim to know God and we're not being transformed into godliness. Paul is advising Timothy, such people stay away from. Mukama yebazi. Ntiwa yewa ba tuwa ba bena mukama yebazi mukama yezo. Eka tonda mbulu chukwa. Nenga wola mbo wola mbo wabu. Teni chola na chawa ba katonda. Echila bika kumu wola mbo wabu. Kati, Paul wana ali kuwa Timotheo. Ama geza gama. Aba ntuwa ba nika mbo iba timu nani. Bagende nga mpola. Aba ntuwa ba nika mbo iba chyo. Bagende nga bichi. Mpola. Yes. Kato homo kaka za yetelu uzani siza nyo. Nuroge yenda la kumulebe kutulimu. Aha. Aga masuganda kubanga kwa abo. Mhm. Aba sensela mnyumba. Aba sensela mnyumba za abo. Nibanya gaba kaza wa siru siru. Nibanya gaba kaza wa siru siru. Aba sitore vivye vinji. Aba sitore vivye vinji. Aba sitore vivye vinji. Aha. Kati mtu wawo kukibo kwe gobo kutari kumu. Nga esi e kutute. Na yenga muna yangu uwezo banyimu kama Kana shikia zanti abantu nga bano Banya kunja makago bakuli ibe ni ibe Uwomu sabu nga mba lutia 
There are people who are ever learning new teachings every other day, but never understanding truth, never coming to the knowledge of truth. Now, this is the deception age we are in today. There are people who come across as men of God, people who come across as people who preach the gospel, ever moving from home to home. I don't know if you have seen pastors who are always moving in home. Me, I have seen them. The pastor is like a witch doctor. And they are always in rich men's homes because rich men, they always want to be prayed for, but they don't want to give their life to Jesus. But they only call you to pray for them, and that's all. <laughs> so you find a man of God saying, yeah, I'm coming from Mumbai, yes, man of God. They say, yeah, there is a family which called me, I'm going to pray for them at home. Pray, I have one in Tinda, I'll be going to another in the Chanja. From Chanja, I have to go to Muyenga. Another one called me. There's another one who called me in Kawembe. I have to pray for them. Or if I'm roaming in people's homes and not telling people about the truth of salvation, but only praying and a miracle happens and then a seed is given. Amen. That kind of ministry is not of God. That kind of ministry is not consistent with the scriptures. Now, these are the perilous times that Paul is warning Timothy about, saying, in the last days, perilous times will come. Now, because of these difficult times, the devil is also trying to twist the way of doing ministry. Such as you end up robbing in people's homes every day. They are giving you some transport, of course, there is also a balance. Take home and buy a portion. So you find yourself as a man or woman of God, roaming from home to home, office to office. Pray for me. Pray for me, man of God, 20,000. Pray for me, 50,000. Pray for me, 10,000. And you are convinced you are doing ministry. If these people are not ready to listen to the truth of coming to serve knowledge of Christ to pray for themselves, then it is time to know that you are lost, according to 2 Timothy 3, verse 6. Now, the people who call them and about our one is a new. I bet I want to go to the Yeah, we saw more. Yeah, we saw more. Yeah, but I want to go to transport and ask him to add it. Mukama Tamute get it. Era Tamulina Po. They are more some of the Viva who. They are Japu Cosessa. Do not fall for that kind of ministry. Teaching at Abuka. Topu Kamuereza. We were Zuza Zuza. Now, that is where we have a problem. I felt very, very late of the spirit. To come and speak these things unto us. I want to speak about only two things. The modern day practices that we have all accepted, yet they are not biblical. Those are the two Disguised worship of human beings that we have given a sweet name called honor. You've heard of things like honoring the man of God. And you find that this man of God is more in the vocabulary of people than God himself, than the word of God, than Jesus. And you have accepted it and said, you know, you have to honor the, the, your man of God. First Timothy 5.17. This is where the deception is coming from. Timothy Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. You hear this statement everywhere. And therefore, people think that you can base on this to exalt a human being beyond measure in the name of I'm here in First Timothy 5.17. But wait a minute. What honor was Paul talking about? The New Living Translation has a different approach. The Bible says the New Living Translation, elders who do their work well should be paid well. In other words, this honor was about appreciating by facilitation. It was not, <laughs> it was not worshiping these people and then we say we are giving them double honor. It's a deception. And we have all fallen for it in all parts of the world. 
and you have believed it as truth. Amen? The Bible is very clear. The double owner concept in the King James Version referred to was looking at financial rewards for those elders who labor. Paul was trying to say, when you are giving somebody an, a love offering or a facilitation for ministry, those who labor in the world and have done well, please consider to double it because they are doing the work for God. It was not honoring or falling down and worshiping men of God. It is a lie, brother. Now, this has been accepted and we have called it honor because First Timothy 5, 17 says so. But the honor that this scripture is talking about is ministerial facilitation. Amen? Now, what are we talking about? This honor was directed to elders, not one elder. Therefore, if we say our honor is to this particular one person, then it is wrong. It goes back to what we talked about, that ministry has to be corporate. Timo sewe shoka, bidi kuminata na sumoruganda tu hivye. Tano kumina msamu. Abakate abakuko bruj mukalisa basani basani zibo okuwe wanga echiti wa emiludi emiludi basani zibo okuwe wanga echiti wa emiludi emiludi walo tenipo ndere yoruganda wano sisa prosa so matu hile aha abakula mbeze abakuzi Abakule mbeze abafuzi. Basani ndo kuwewa HT wa chingi. Basani ndo kuwewa HT wa chingi. Nadara abo abanyikira enyo mkuguli la no kuigiliza HT wa mchaka. Nadara abo nyo abanyikira mkuguli la no kukula chi? Kate yoro gana eja HT wa kwa wala ya chusa King James. Memo ogena mungunu le ndale zaabu ziba. Chine HT wa chivo ogena kote chari cha kukua wa hasine uevulungula mutakatu wa kumsa ya wamu kama hasine. Echiti wa Bible chetje yogera ko kale kasimo akokusindika basa yogera ko rachi okwe yogera yokuleza makamu That's why I read the New Living Translation the elders who do their work well should be paid well The Amplified Bible also calls it payment Therefore it is wrong for us to only look at this honor in terms of human worship it is wrong and absolutely unbiblical Why do I say so why do I believe that this honor is not the honor that we are looking at in our generation? Acts chapter 10, verse 25. To get a to Paul the Number two, 
<laughs> we have so many titles that have come. Why? Because there is a drawing of human worship unto human beings. That's why you hear people come up with names. This man is prophet, is called Game Changer. I've read these things. There's a man of God, aka Game Changer. <gasps> when you look at it very keenly and you search the scriptures, that kind of pride and self-importance is not consistent with the scriptures. Hmm? <laughs> that kind of pride and self-importance is not consistent with the scriptures. Hmm? But we take that we should not accept excessive honor. If we do it without going to the scriptures, we are lost. Now, I have shown you one thing, but there are more scriptural evidences which I may not go into. Acts chapter 14. Because I have to be coming here. Oku, sins almost were found in Kama in Amma, Peter Gamma, and the work which were found in the Kovetia, which are one day. Sicha, what I told you. I don't want to take you too far. But I want to collaborate this point of Acts chapter 10, verse 25 and 26 with Acts chapter 14, verse 1 to 18. This happens when Paul and Barnabas went to preach the gospel somewhere and the power of God fell and the crippled man was healed in verse 8. And the crowds gathered thinking that these are people who should worship. Paul and Barnabas said, no, 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 it should not happen. Come on, favors you. Never get the power and the barrel number and after they got up. Bible commands Paul and Bible the
Echiti wa chali chaba kade bonna abakoze obulungi. Kati echiti wa chali tuchitu wa kale steka mu mtu omunga we bagambe. Kati awe baso. Ebya wale ko ndi bigamba we bityo. The scriptures have a different view. Mkama yeba si. Ndanso kula baba to bagala genda kuyo mtongo baba ne nange maliza. Kati abamu benda ba yale seto ke ku kumulilo. Kati abamu genda ndika. Ate ne mva ebijanjo na mpeleze na yake sina bisika. Ate no emva ze baitenya ba na no kati njakana mtoge ne mlo. To ne kwa samuna. But concept number two, a chok with a general of poor. A soak and a gambi, or scenes of poor bag, the twenty twenty seven Yawa and the Madame Tausebubi, a young colle mu, a one year can say of a young priest of Nedo, but a gatesi to Nayatu, and not to Jan is a one way to me. Nagana of where the summary of Casnajan and Simulay got to Zang and Akatan Bar. Nakatu and Nakosa and Alabama and Amazing in the Ganam, Nanga Babuni, Bako, Nadia Hasongola. And it came to pass when I went to minister someday, and the lady came feeling my feet with her hand. Very determined to keep it in her house and always wash it and say, I'm washing with the anointing of the man of God. I rebuked her for this. I told her, please come out of that nonsense. Get back to the truth. Amen? Amen? Now, the other concept that has come in church, which is not true, but has been generally accepted. Is intimidation by this person who is called the man of God. O kutisi watisi wako na msaada kwa wito msaada wa mukama. Walowe kanisa zoge na mungu msaada wa mukama ba na ngalinga katonda. Aina la wizo boka ba kwe. Picha juu kuzi yuko sande. Mungu kujitu ndeshe na nzuri kwa wale kubegele ya watu. Ya wandi kwa kati muda ngo o kutia na biya yogedi. Sani wafunye piche ni nepuloni. Adusa ageza ajituza alese minyo minya. Azitaje kubigere. Ata ageze waka kulomi staila chakulia. Intimidation by this person who is called the man of God. It is a deception that we have accepted in our days. And then we have put them on a pedestal. So we are suffering lots of intimidation from this guy who is called the MOG. Man of God. Because the times are perilous. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 7 in your Bible. The Bible declares, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. When a man's ways please his God, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. I'm trying to protect you from intimidation. If your ways are led by the Spirit of God, and you have pleased God, it means there is no pronouncement of a curse by a so-called man of God that will come to manifest in your life. Because the Bible says, he will make even your enemies at peace with you. Meaning even the curses will be turned into a blessing because they have to be at peace with you on account of your ways having pleased God. Simu, to chapel, get the poor. Nay, or you know, Kwanga, or you believe the Walimu Pano Kwangi. 
mkumi na mkago lomu samu nga makubo ko kasanyu siza mkama chitekeza achia makubo ko wanga cheka sanyu siza mkama sewe chikoli mchija kukwa I want to clarify this point very very clear Proverbs 16 verses 7 when a man's ways please the Lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him we are talking about intimidation by this person who goes by the title man of God and to believe us if you are survive that kind of intimidation and curses they pronounce time and again, your ways must have pleased God because the Bible declares that God will make even your enemies to be at peace with you. It means that even the curses that were not at peace with you can be turned into blessings and be become at peace with you because your ways have pleased God. You cannot curse somebody who is in alignment with God. It's impossible. Verse 10 declares that a divine sentence is in the mouth of, or the lips of the king. So that sentence will not happen except heaven orchestrates it to happen. If the lips of the king, or you before the king in heaven, you are in sync and you are in alignment, it is difficult for another sentence to work on you. It is only his sentence that works. I'm closing with Proverbs 26 verses 2. On the concept of being intimidated by somebody who goes by a title of man of God to pronounce curses on you, that is a deception. It will only find truth in your life. It will find expression in your life to the extent you are not aligned with God to please Him and His ways, according to Proverbs 16, verses 7. Now we are talking Proverbs 26, verses 2. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please listen to me. Why people are going to like a bad wandering, so a curse causeless will not alight. In other words, for a curse to find expression in your life, there must be a cause. So a man of God, in quotes, M-O-G, cannot pronounce a curse on you without a cause. And if you are standing in Proverbs 16, verse 7, your ways are pleased to God, that curse will not alight. It will not find expression in your life. So whatever, some of you are living in so much intimidation because they disagreed with this guy. Maybe he wanted you as a lady, you and he was interested in your, you know what I'm saying? Your figure. And the man of God makes a move and you say, you know what, man of God, it's not possible. He says, who told you? Who you just, I pronounce the curse on you. And you're living in intimidation and fear. Was there a cause for this man to curse you? Yes or no? Are you ways pleasing the Lord according to Proverbs 16, verse 7? Yes or no? If the answers to these are yes, and there is no cause for this curse to come on you, there is no need for you to live in intimidation. So these are the vices that we have been experiencing in our generation, in our current times that we live in, and we have all embraced them. I saw one man of God talk on TikTok. He said, yes, you must honor that because he will cast you, and the minister will never take off. I said, but the ministry is, is of God. If the Lord really wants that minister to take place, there isn't an amount of curses a man will give you that will stop you. Because God is a God of justice. Come <laughs> Timosewe choku bili satu, kumbi lata anu ujijee nga yu. Ni ukama mkama na hili ya wane kwa wende mika amba wano. Onteke, njee chistie, chikoli meshitani kwa mkwasu. Ngele wabili mkako, bili. Ate mkama angako wala ba, ngele kumina mkaka musamu. Nize inama mpande tambula na awe wano, mungeli ye ni mungi. Echiteke zanti, e kwa na zangi na awe, zili wamu. Mpande nisa banti kwa kakanya wala viva angi, kwa wale temile nje jenji. Amina, ewe ye sara mkama jaulida. Na yes, I'm coming down and I will not be able to do it. 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 I will not be able to do it
Mutufu mkama hakunoneza. Mutufu ilugambo minu mchikambo tunusumi. Ila yuride mkwini mchikwa kwa mkwamba mkama. Ila mkama angabu ulaba. Nse mwenawe wangoyo simu ina hako mzibu. Soko mkebelo mtima kwa angekuni. Ola ito kwele mwina mwa mzibu. Mkama uwasi ina mzibu. Takati wache chikoli mchansi mkila chini kwa ata. Amen? Amen. So, egulu likola, there is a divine justice system how he can work. Walwe egulu, egulu likola 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 kwa mkwano 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 Jadi cakap dia kalau umpama zat pada dek suvi ada muka macam tu kuliya. Zaitun aku kuliya waktu agama macam ni. Cawa dek kuwa Isaia kalau mungkin orang tu minum sam. Cepi cawa kuwa di sebelah cewek sebelah orang ramu angge. Eci dia bom kisah. Nenek tu nak jaya orang jadi luar. Enggak orang tu minum kah go bom sam boleh na yoga lunch. Amina. Macam mana saya boleh satu minit tanah orang na yoga lunch? Muli wap. Bora na toni nini yuko katika yuko jambo wa bokotinga mwa wa, egulu likola, oksisi ya kusisi ni yake, ogutu kivu, mkuu yebu, oktia mukama, mkuu yebu, okuni kila biyo wa katunda, mkuu yebu, oku kiza mukama na kuni sabo process, mkuu yebu, bora na toni kwenye simu mukama wa yuko mkuu yebu, yuko jambo hisa na tenga, nisi kuba. Before we rush into quoting scriptures of self-defense, there is self-defense scripture. Isaiah 54, 17, and one on what? Ephesians 6, 12, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against his pride. Are you sure you're in the capacity to wrestle? You must be in sync with God for the justice system of heaven to work for you. For you to declare no weapon for it against you will prosper. You must be in sync with the Spirit of God and you must be on the right side of the justice system of heaven for God to give you protection. Without that alignment, my brother, it doesn't matter how many tongues you speak, the devil will get you and the pronouncements of your enemies will come to pass. Seek after going into alignment and the Lord will protect you. Thank you so much. Blessings on you. Let us stand on our feet. Jenazah.